This is Nina Curley reporting for WAMDA. I'm here at the fifth annual MIT Entrepreneurship Workshop with Salim Akil of SearchinMina.com. Salim, how are you? Hi, Nina. Hi. Good. Good. So you recently left Syria um, where you were having difficulty continuing to run your company and you came and got set up in Dubai. Can you tell us about the challenges of getting set up in Dubai? Uh, it's th something very hard uh, to change uh, your office, uh, change your employee, uh, employees and go to the another place and a new market. Uh, that makes us uh, ch uh, looking for the new clients and looking for new team to work with you. Uh, when I decide to come to Dubai, I, oh. m I m uh, made a research in many markets like Saudi Arabia or uh, uh, Beirut, Lebanon or Dubai. So the best place for me is Dubai because I need to to um, to reach clients in Middle East and North Africa and Dubai it's a gate of, of that and I need uh, uh, to looking for investors to fund my my, my project. Uh, so I come I, I, I come uh, to Dubai from six months and uh, registered my company in free zone because it's the best way to, for foreign uh, entrepreneurs or businessmen to to register uh, the, their company in Dubai in free zone uh, and start uh, to bring my employees from uh, from Syria also make new uh, make their, them um, uh, the visa uh, the, the resident visa and uh, rented the office and start uh, to to start to um, go to the new clients in Dubai and uh, in Saudi Arabia and Qatar. My vision is um, to work in, in GCC, to focus in GCC at first, especially in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so Dubai, it's easier and uh, uh, there is, uh, easier to, to make that. Especially Dubai, and also Dubai have uh, national and multinational companies. So this is very important uh, point to us. And can you just explain Search in Mina very briefly and have you changed the product since being in Dubai and trying to reach the Gulf market? Okay, uh, Search, in, uh, Search in Mina help SME through creating new channels to get clients online and build a huge network of uh, product and services for uh, Arab companies in Mina region. But when I came to Dubai, uh, here the companies more more uh, they have a lot of uh, knowledge online knowledge and they are advanced more than in uh, companies in other countries like Saudi Arabia or Egypt or Syria or Tunisia so we had that uh, our tools uh, they saw our they saw our tool that is not not very professional so what I did is improved the website uh, try to to make it uh, as much as I can um, better than before for my clients in Dubai. So, so uh, this is what happened. To connect businesses and to make small businesses more visible. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is what we, uh, what we uh, do in our business. We brought their information, uh, trade information, their products in our website and promote them through uh, uh, Google and through uh, anyone visit our, our website directly. And how has the process of seeking investment been for you? Um, it's not easy. Uh, no one ha helped me, helped me to, to, to guide me uh, how I can get investor or how I can look for investor. Uh, so the, the, the start, st uh, the first point or the first uh, way, it was in, um, in uh, Dubai Startup Weekend. I attended to this event uh, and I met a lot of entrepreneurs and uh, supporters and also investors. Uh, I start from here, there. Uh, I met two, two investors um, and I met uh, one sub uh, supporter, Dubai SME. Uh, this, th this meeting let me uh, go to them after uh, the event and ask for investment. So when I go, went to them, I started to learn how I can ask, uh, how, how, I, um, how, I, how I can ex explain to, to investor what I want, uh, what is my uh, weakness, what is uh, 
uh, the point I need to improve it, how much capital I need, where I, uh, where the capital, where the investment capital will go, uh, how I can um, let him uh, feel that I'm a good person and I can do what I'm talking about. Uh, after that, I started to uh, to um, to go to many events, especially in Dubai. There is a lot of business uh, network uh, business networking events. So from these events, I start to meet uh, investor. After that, investor. So um, during six months, I met seven ex investors, uh, and there is a, um, one. Um, important investors he, uh, we prepared the, all the documents he asked like uh, business plan like uh, uh, action plan uh, milestones um, presentation for the weeks and uh, strong uh, we prepared everything during a month and we dis uh, he decided to, to, to invest in our company uh, but we had uh, we had a problem that no one can make evaluation for my company, my project, my idea, and uh, no one uh, can knows about how how the contract will be. This is uh, two two problems I had. So um, for the contract, I uh, search on online for companies did investment before, and I got one very good contract. Uh, to, uh, sorry, Dubai SME suggest uh, suggest to me uh, a very good contract from Germany companies. Yeah, so it was. And we prepared it uh, to make it uh, for um, uh, working good with um, Dubai laws. Uh, the second one, the second problem is for our evaluation. Uh, we, we, we. I have, I hadn't met anyone can help me for evaluation. Uh, so, what we did is uh, use uh, normal one. Don't know exactly how he will evaluate. Uh, product liked my product and uh, he evaluated it wrong yeah so the investor asked for high percentage so uh, in the final uh, in the final I, ca I, I couldn't deal with, with th this investor so after that I started to look uh, how I can evaluate my company I went to many investors new investors many investors from Europe uh, and I got how how the, uh, the entrepreneurs do it in, in Europe, so I get uh, the plan sheet and uh, I start to, to evaluate my, my product. Did you get advice from judges here? Did you get feedback from judges here about the valuation process? In this uh, event, we learned how we can manage uh, uh, the multi-levels between clients and explain or pitch in front of them uh, one one minute to uh, one minute to com to convince them all the, uh, about the evaluation. No, uh, I haven't asked about evaluation because I learned how I will do. I ask only. I just was uh, asking ask them for how I can get uh, uh, investors as fast as I can. Especially, I finished all my capital. I see. And what advice would you give a young entrepreneur looking to move to Dubai, or even looking just to value their evaluate their company, um, given what you've been through? Okay. Uh, the, the advice is uh, first of all, try to ask, uh, try to meet uh, other entrepreneurs uh, who did that, who moved to to Dubai, uh, how he registered his company, uh, how he uh, how he. Uh, he he facing the the problems. Uh, ask about market. Ask about anything. Um, about the investors and the evaluated. Uh, every 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 entrepreneur must go and ask by himself because n no one knows about that. He, he, we, our uh, investment industry for online marketing it's new. In, in our region, so we don't have companies do that. So he must search and he uh, try to search by himself and uh, ask other entrepreneurs. Uh, that will help me. I will advise the entrepreneurs to focus in, first of thing on sales. 
during three months, uh, three months or six months. That will uh, let the investor uh, decide faster when uh, the, the business have uh, sales. That will make uh, that will make uh, the investor feel better, and uh, it's easy to build trust between uh, the business or the entrepreneur and investor. Would you recommend that they go to Dubai SME? Yeah, they are very professional. They help me a lot to preparing the documents, uh, which uh, investors usually ask of them because every investor ask different documents. So they help help me uh, a lot. Uh, and uh, I advise all people to go through there. Salim, thanks for sharing all your thoughts with us. I hope it's useful to other entrepreneurs. Thank you. Thank you.